what is going on guys it's been a long time since i've posted on this channel um but i got some updates so i am not well last time i posted i was cut again but i bulked in between that and i didn't really update the channel that entire bulk but it was a very successful bulk peaked out at about 196 hit a lot of prs you know i was shoulder pressing the hundreds stuff like that it was fun uh, but now I'm back down to 173, and this is a weight I feel pretty good at. Still pretty strong. Uh, not so much on bench, but on pretty much everything else. Everything holds up. And my current split at the moment is chest and back, shoulders and arms, rest, legs, chest and back, shoulders and arms, rest. So the main reason I have everything split up like this is I really enjoy hitting shoulders to their full capability and you just really can't do that after hitting chest. So when I start them fresh on the arm day, I basically have unlimited juice to use as opposed to, okay, you know, I just took 20 pounds off what I can do from benching right before this. So not only does this split allow you to focus on your shoulders more, it allows you to focus on your arms more because you're hitting them when they're pretty much fresh. I mean, shoulder press is not taking too much from your triceps, maybe a little bit, but your biceps are definitely fresh and your triceps are going to be fresher than if you were to Larson press or, you know, hit chest for a full hour before them. Just a side note here with these chest flies, I know my arms aren't perfectly straight. Uh, they feel straight enough while I'm doing it and I pretty much feel it entirely in my chest, so uh, works well enough. But I have to go pretty hard on these and I end up usually grunting in some way on the last couple of reps and it's completely involuntary just because this exercise feels a lot harder than other exercises when it's taken to failure. Not even too sure why that is. And this is more of an intuitive training kind of thing but I'm usually never fully satisfied when I finish chest flies. So I like to throw in a drop set on at least the last set, sometimes the last two sets. Um, and once I'm barely doing 30s for eight on a drop, then I feel like I've done something. So the next thing I want to do is highlight a mistake I made on my last cut. I ended my last cut at 168.4 with this body composition, and this picture was taken at 173.6 at about the same body composition. And there's only about eight months, six months between these pictures, and it just goes to show how little factors like sleep and protein can contribute to those last couple pounds of gains that you could have had. Um, I'm also quite a bit stronger now than I was, and there's two things I did wrong here. One, I was sleeping maybe six to seven hours a night and waking up at random times, and nothing was consistent, right? My protein was maybe 160 grams, um, and deep in a cut, especially when I'm that light for my height, I'm about 5'10, um, you need more protein. So, Currently, I've been having 185 to 195 protein and sleeping eight plus hours a night, sometimes nine if I can. It's not easy because I have to wake up at four for work some days, but a lot of those changes do add up and I see them in my strength and in my physique. So five pounds of lean body mass in a year might sound like nothing to people that are desensitized by crazy transformations, but if you're a noob or a beginner lifter, that can equate to a lot more if you have all your you know things in check when you first start so if you get your protein amount right you get your sleep right you're training close to failure you're actually pushing yourself you're not just going insanely hard every single day and you're resting enough i mean these things can add up a lot quicker i mean i don't know how much bigger i'd be if i would have done all of that perfect from the get-go because i had a few years where i did quite a few things wrong but you know surely they do add up so i just want to stress one more thing here guys take your time with your reps and take your time with your sets so what i mean by that is you know say you have a set of 20 you want to hit uh don't just speed up the reps and skimp out on the pauses just to get to the number quicker uh it seems you know it seems fun but uh it's a good way to get injured and i've gotten injured a couple times doing that uh, more times than i'd like to admit so this has kind of just been a random mismatch of things that I've wanted to say. And now I want to get you guys' input. Um, what would you want me to make videos about? What questions do you have? Uh, pretty much anything. Leave it in the comments below and I'll kind of build my next video around that as opposed to what I did here where it's just kind of random stuff. 
So let me know what you want to see and we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching and have a good one.